The Bose Soundware is not a boomerang, an airline pillow, or a toilet seat. It's also not a headset, at least not in the traditional sense. Bose calls it a companion speaker. I call it an indulgence. But if you don't have the means or the inclination to buy a home sound system, it might just be the weirdo piece of tech you're looking for. I'm Mr. Mobile, and this is the first personal speaker I've ever tried. I was not surprised to find that the Bose soundware is for a very narrow range of people. But I was taken aback to discover after two weeks that I'm sort of one of them. I'm on the go way too often to invest in a Sonos or similar speaker system for my home. And even when I am home, I'm almost always moving from room to room. So I usually just keep my phone on me and stick to headphones. The problem with that is my preferred headphones are really good at eliminating background noise and I hate not being aware of my surroundings. Enter the Bose Soundware. The idea is you drape it over your shoulders and create a kind of sphere of sound around your head. And uh, to get this out of the way now, yes, it looks weird. Sure, you can hide it under a hoodie or a black jacket, but don't expect to use this in public anyway because, well, it's physics. The speakers are big and they're loud, but because they're so far from your ears, they're not always loud enough to overcome ambient background noise. So you need to crank them up to max and then everyone can hear your phone call or your bare naked ladies best of album. It's not the best. I say all this to make the point that the soundware is not a replacement for headphones. It's a complement to them. You come into work for the day or come home at night and swap your commute headphones for this thing. In my time with the soundware, I've used it most often in the office and it's been wonderful. From a technical perspective, it's pretty amazing what a spacious soundstage it can produce. Rich tones, ample bass, even a little bonus rumble on your collarbone for the peaks. The moment that really sold me on him was this. I was listening to a podcast, uh, Emotional Hangs is my new favorite one, if you care. And at one point in the background, there was a dog walking around their recording studio, making that collar jangling noise, you know? Well, the sound was so authentic that for a half second, I thought a dog had gotten inside the room I was in. It's really stunning. On the tangible stuff, there aren't many surprises. Um, on the upside, you can take the fabric cover off to clean it or swap it for a more colorful one. It's lightweight enough that you can forget you're wearing it. Voice calls are super clear. I've had a few conversations over both regular cell and VoIP, and I've had no trouble hearing or being heard. And if you use the Bose Connect app to manage this thing, you can now opt out of the data collection that rightly raised such a stink a few months back. On the downside, that removable cover is an absolute bear to replace. It's like trying to put on a wet sock over a wet foot when both your feet and your fingers are numb. It's horrible. Also, the battery is smallish. About 12 hours between charges is my experience, in line with Bose's promises, but only about half the endurance of the Bose QC35s. And when you do have to recharge them, you're stuck using a micro USB port, which was old even for 2017. The biggest put off for most will likely be the price. 300 bucks for a device that, again, doesn't replace your headphones. If you're a podcast or Spotify binger, that means you need to budget for these and another 150 to 300 bucks to keep you covered at home and on the go. Like I said at the top, that makes this an indulgence for a very narrow range of customers. But like I also said at the top, I surprised myself in that I ended up liking the soundware a lot more than I expected. If you're always on the run like I am and you need something that'll keep your ears fed without totally shutting out the outside world, the soundware deserves a listen. And I'd be remiss not to mention the competition here because for a bit less money, LG sells a similar set called the Tone Studio. And those have the benefit of deployable earbuds when you do need to go private. I have no experience with these, but both PocketNow and the Unlocker have covered them. So I'll drop a link to their videos in the description below. Also in that description, a link to today's sponsor. Thrifter can help you save on headsets like this, plus a ton of other gadgets, home goods, and almost anything else you can think of. It's a new way to save money by shopping based on value and not hype. 
hit up that link in the description for that specific deal. Visit thrifter.com to see the rest of the savings. And thanks to Thrifter for the support. Until next time, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and stay mobile, my friends.